I wanted to create a kind of a small cosmogony with actors, actresses, very weird stories. The film is set up in the 30s. Uh, it was a, a way for, for me to talk about the present days, to talk about the contemporary days. And they are very dark, uh, especially in Europe. So the film must be connected in a way to this very, very threatening and dark uh, climate. So there's this sentence in the film that says, we never know that we are living in a pre-war moment. Mm -hmm. And maybe it's the film that I had at this time. Now I want to make comedies. <laughs> I think it's one of the questions that uh, travel uh, all around the film, like since the first image to the last one. And you mentioned the alternative facts, which is so Orwellian in a way, and like people today, they, they have no shame to say, Oh, you saw that, but it's not true. So I think it's I think that cinema should uh, question, and and it's probably why there's so many ghost stories those days. It's because we have to question that. We have to question what is real and what's not, and what to believe in. And I feel that Planetarium is my answer in a very modest way to um, the new and terrible storytellings that are coming. I was very happy to begin with a very, very sparkling sky that would look natural mm -hmm. and at the end it's a very pathetical and, uh, and artificial one and it's something that moves me that cinema may be the only last key of you know, storytelling and, and things that we could believe in. I'm just happy to say yes, we're part of a new generation, a new wave maybe of female French makers uh, of course, we're not the pioneer, we're not the first ones, there used to be like a lot of them in the 90s as well. I'm very friend to some of them, like Céline Siama, me on Saint Love, Céline Siama read my scripts and she enters my editing room. So there's definitely uh, uh, collaborations with each other, so we can say that yes, it's an exciting moment for, uh, for French uh, filmmakers and especially for French filmmakers, yes. Who? Not <laughs> that it's not that famous that in uh, Australian cinema, for instance, well, as for New Zealand, it's just Jane Campion that I have in my mind. Even like the last TV shows like Top of the Lake, mm -hmm. the only uh, images of, the, of the, the country I had were through cinema and through her cinema. But it's still very, very uh, few, and I'm pretty sure that there is like a richness that we, we cannot see in France. There's definitely a climate of peacefulness that we don't experience in Europe anymore. There's definitely uh, an attraction for filmmakers like me, because when I'm here, I feel that I can recharge batteries in a way and feel and experience the, like, another way of talking between people, other, other way of living together between people, other, and a certain like, uh, quietness that we don't have anymore. So there's definitely an attraction for me, not the landscape, it would be the people. <laughs> Rainy. Rainy. <laughs> Actually, it's going to be a screwball comedy, and it's going to be like the very, the most exotic and, and dangerous place I've ever filmed, which is my town, my country, <laughs> my city, Paris. Okay. It's a, it's a very frivolous and, and and light and joyful project, which so is so challenging. different. Yes, so challenging. <laughs>